This is uh, Tom Zepperfeld from uh, Ophelion with another screencast on uh, examples of uh, applications for our Prologram Neo4j browser. What you're looking at now is uh, the standard layout of our uh, Neo4j browser with my shortcuts over here, Elasticsearch window, Cypher window, and here on the right side my detail view for nodes and relationships neighbors and history of uh, nodes that I have uh, I've looked at. Um, today I'm going to talk about a basic uh, uh, application which is um, uh, management of processes. I have uh, diagrammed uh, a simple process with a start node and an end node and a happy flow that is indicated uh, on these relationships they have a default equals one so my happy f my happy flow is this and it has um, let's say a bifurcation where you can from an assessment you can go to a modification or you can go to a rejection or an approval if we uh, create instances of this process um, you create them by uh, by creating a, a number of additional nodes for instance for my process 1 which has a start node and a first uh, first intake um, this intake node you can see has a duration over here and this intake had also had it has a duration over there so based on um, let's say the relations that exist and of course the numbers you can create all kinds of uh, calculations another example would be a process that has already terminated and which has an instance like this. Um, to continue let's put this on the right side and um, here in my shortcuts I have uh, a table uh, flow instances And that calculates four flows, four instances of this same same flow, and each uh, of one is as a different step. So if we would try uh, to look at, uh, for instance, this process number three, it is at the intake stage. So it had started here. The green nodes represent the nodes that are ready, that have, uh, uh, let's say, been completed. The blue one is the current one, and the um, uh, beige one are the ones that are on the happy flow, but they are waiting. So if you hurry the, at the intake, you can go only one way. It's assessment, and the next steps you find them over here. The next steps that you can do. So if I click this one, it recalculates. You can now see here the process is at a, an assessment. Uh, the intake has become green. This is the blue one, and here you can go multiple ways. So let's assume we reject it. Then you are at a rejection. Is the current stage? Well, imagine that you have uh, you have made an uh, made an error and you can also uh, you can also uh, rewind it so if I can say okay make this one on the right click I even make this the current node then I take this process back process 3 is back at intake um, if you work with uh, with uh, loops like this they can also be handled this way uh, let's go to process 4 which is as an approval oh no it's as an assessment so let's say I have a modification and after the modification it gets back to an assessment but that would be assessment number two so if I go there assessment number two and then I can even modify it again and it takes me to assessment number three and then let final finally let's uh, let's approve this one 
Okay. Of course, the layout can be uh, can be improved, but this is our let's say standard uh, uh, thing now. We, I didn't work a lot on that. Um, so here you have the the flow, and you can always go back to whatever 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 point you you want to go to. Okay, you s you see that this uh, these uh, panels they interact with each other. Uh, how is that done? We have um, uh, we have our function and trigger system in uh, in Prologram. Um, basically, what I started with was triggering a shortcut. So this shortcut is here. I have a user node, and <coughs> sorry, let's delete this one. I have a user node. And uh, I have uh, the query node, so this button triggers my query, and the query is uh, when it's successful, it's uh, the data are displayed in this flow instances table, which is this one. So when I on a row click, I get a flow instance, and I display it is a net in a network view. This is the network view, which is basically this diagram but at the same time I can I can add attach multiple triggers to the row click event so it also gets my next steps and which is this one so here and here on my row click I can go to the next step and then the next step refreshes the instance and it also refreshes the new step and it refreshes the flow instances list with this this one um, and there is this uh, this right click to go to uh, to uh, a previous and make a certain note, a current note, so that it has a contact a context um, a menu linked to the note. So I have here a context menu linked to the note, and this one allows me to trigger this query to make this the current query, the current note. Um, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned.